families want is an order from a federal judge that says to Madison Kipp, you need to investigate and in how far off of your property the contamination is gone, who's affected, who's in harm's way, and also you need to clean it up. Now, that order is probably 20 years late in coming. That behavior from the company is 20 years late in coming. If the company had behaved responsibly, this case wouldn't be necessary. These families wouldn't be in harm's way. They wouldn't be worried about the toxic chemicals underneath the basements of their home. They wouldn't be worried about their children. They wouldn't be worried about the fact that they can't sell their house. Nobody wants to buy it. Cleaning it up, finding out how far it's gone, finding out whether the people across the street and down the road have been affected is the most important objective of our lawsuit. Um, also, it's important to say this lawsuit is the ultimate vote of no confidence in the Wisconsin DNR. All right, that's a taxpayer-supported agency. These folks have been paying taxes dutifully to their state government. That agency is charged with protecting their health and their property and hasn't done it. So this lawsuit is to say that we've lost faith in the Wisconsin DNR and now we've got to go to the federal court and see if we can get it done in that way. The other reason for this lawsuit is there are seven families, and those are the ones who brought the lawsuit, they have contamination on their property. And the contamination is of a chemical primarily called PCE. PCE causes cancer. PCE is very dangerous. Some of the levels are very high. Human beings shouldn't be exposed to it. Nobody wants to buy their homes the way they are today. Everything a home stands for to a family has been taken away from them. Your ability to use and enjoy your home, to feel at peace in your home, to love what you've built, to have your family nest egg around you, which is what a home is for most people. They've been deprived of this now because there's poison on their property. All right, They've been hurt by that financially. And the lawsuit also is to get them compensation for it. How much? I don't know. That's not the main driver for this lawsuit. Not one of these folks has ever talked to us lawyers about how much money can we get. What's this all worth? Their primary concern is how many of our neighbors are affected? Who's being harmed by this? How quickly can we get this cleaned up? And isn't it a shame that DNR isn't doing its job that we've paid it to do over these couple of decades? So that's what the lawyers have to say. Now maybe you ought to hear from some of the folks here. Some comments about the studio, why you decided to file it. I tried to start it. Have you all heard some of the 